Hello, I'm Dan from Edmo Electric Bikes, and this is my review of the recent Muller Delight GT runoff. So the bike that we are looking at today is the one of the top spec bikes that Reese and Muller make. Main difference is this is a single battery version of it. So the very top spec bike is the Super Delight GT Roll-Off. This is the Delight GT Roll-Off, which essentially means we're talking about a single battery, a 625 watt hour battery, instead of an 1125 watt hour. This bike comes in three different specifications. It comes in a Touring, a Vario and a Roll-Off version. Today's bike is obviously the roll-off version, the very nicest one that's out there. And then it comes in a couple of different colours. This is called Urban Grey Matte, if my memory is correct. And they also do a Chili Matte version of it. So on this bike, uh, this is quite a well-specified bike. It's mine. <laughs> so um, this has got, first of all, I guess the GX upgrade on it. So we've gone for the knobbly tyres. So instead of having the standard um, GT tyres, the Schwalbe Moto um, X tyres, this is the Schwalbe John Johnny Watts tyres. Nice um, knobbly pattern, suitable for riding on um, gravel and a bit of off-road as well. And in the options with that, we've gone for the Fox Float upgrade as well. So we've got this 140 mil travel uh, front and rear um, provided by Fox. Really lovely suspension. The options on this bike are either to go for the Suntour Aeon um, suspension front and rear, or the one that we've gone for is the uh, Fox Float suspension 140 mil travel. Really lovely if you are going to be spending a lot of your time off road. But don't forget, if you ride this with your suspension fully open on the road, it is going to soak up a lot of the power of the bike and it's going to reduce your range and make the riding harder. So do bear in mind what you're going to use your bike for. This bike also has the um, dropper post that's on it, which is part of the GX pack as well. So we can raise and lower our saddle depending on the type of riding that we're doing. And it's got the electronic shift on the handlebars for the gears so we can go up and down just by pressing a butter button. So th this bike has um, an electronic shifter. So it's a, a roll-off 14 speed hub with a shifter up on the top here. And that means it also is provided then with the belt drive on there instead of a chain, which is superb for the muddy gritty uh, weather because you don't have to worry about continuously having to oil your chain. Another really nice feature on this bike, um, if you're gonna be riding it um, at night as well, is um, obviously it comes with lights, um, which are integrated into the battery. Um, but these are main beam and dipped headlights, which are superb for riding at night. And they also have brake lights built into the back as well, uh, which is quite handy when you're zooming down the hill and you whack your brakes on the cars behind, you know that you are actually gonna be slowing down rapidly. The motor that we've got on this bike is obviously top spec. So we are looking at a Bosch 85 Newton meter, 250 watt uh, performance CX, uh, performance CX line motor. And this one, we have got the nylon cockpit fitted. Now the nylon cockpit is great because of the sat nav it provides with it. It gives you uh, GPS in there, gives you Wi-Fi to download all your maps. It um, pairs with Komoot, so you can go and plan all your routes on Komoot and then they will automatically download onto this. And then there's a load of other options that you can put on here. So I've got mine set up, so it tells me the weather, it tells me how many calories that I've burnt, it tells me how much money I've saved about against driving a car, um, loads and loads of fun stuff that you can chuck on it. So I've got all of that on there as well. Okay, I'm gonna talk you through this because this is actually quite important for both um, the, uh, the little trip that we did up um, Cheddar Gorge and also the review of the, the bike. So this is our Nyon cockpit. We can see that today we did five miles. So we did absolutely nothing. Um, it took me 45 minutes to do that five miles and I climbed 623 feet. Um, but more importantly, here we go. It tells me what the weather's going to be. Getting colder. I could just looked around and told you what the weather was going to be, but hey ho. Um, and then it tells me I burned 230 calories. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't think it knows how hard I really worked. Maybe it was working on how much the pedals were turned, not how hard I was working to get up that hill. Um, and then, but most importantly, it has this built-in feature that it knows who's won. And you'll see down the bottom here, it's got a little tick by this cup, which basically means Dan won. It's, you know, it says nothing on there about Rufus because he obviously lost. 
Um, and then this is quite depressing. It tells me that um, I've saved 67 pence riding my bike up that hill today. <laughs> Whoopee. Um, yeah, so, so this is our Nyon sat-nav anyway. Loads of useful information on it. Um, I got 14 miles range left on this bike based in um, turbo. Um, 30 miles left in eco. Yeah, really useful little thing. And you can see our route on it there as well. And I guess most important about this bike is this rack. Um, it might look a little bit strange. Um, it's sort of sitting quite high on the back of the bike. But what you'll see is it's actually bolted straight onto the frame. So all the weight of any bags, pannier bags, anything that you're carrying is going to be transferred onto the frame of the bike rather than to the rear wheel. This means that this rear swing arm that is down here is completely free to move um, and isn't... Um, under the weight of the pannier bags stopping it so um essentially you're going to get a far smoother ride it's going to drop into the holes as you go down the road and it's going to pin you to the road an awful lot nicer on this bike we are fitted with magura brakes front and rear so on the front we've got a magura mt5 which is a four pot caliper meaning there is four pistons coming in squeezing that brake um the brake pads onto the disc and on the back we'll have an mt4 which is two squeezing on so you've got the extra stopping power on the bike which um, you get on these high high-end bikes great for dropping off some big hills uh, recently just come down um cheddar gorge on this at 30 mile an hour and there's absolutely no problem stopping at all so the, the question is um why have i chosen this bike i've got the choice of any bike in the shop and i have recently purchased purchased this bike for me um my rides that I do, and everybody's rides are completely different, the ones that I do the majority of the time are backwards and forwards to the shop, um, so they're only about three or four miles each time. So I probably don't need the second battery um, option that's in here. I definitely love the idea of having a full suspension bike, mainly for comfort. So even when I'm doing those really, really short rides, I can just open up the suspension, make it really inefficient, and I can ride up and down the hill from um, home, and it's really, really comfortable. But then on the other hand, um, having a single battery and being able to lock out the suspension, knobbly tyres upgraded to the Fox Float suspension, for what I really want to do is heading out onto Dartmoor. So going and doing sort of a 10, 15 mile loop out on Dartmoor, nothing too strenuous, but enough to go and get some sort of big hills, go and see some stuff and come back again. And this bike is everything I could possibly need. If I was to be doing the big rides all the time, the one change that I would make is to upgrade this to a twin battery. But what I'm actually planning to do is when I go and do the big rides, it's still one of the batteries out of the demo bikes and I'm gonna put it in the back here and then manually change it out when I get there. So I get the benefit of every single day riding a lighter bike. And then on the day that I wanted that super delight, I'm just gonna steal a battery from somewhere else, which is not something that maybe everybody else can do. I don't care.